may love to watch them on screen or listen to their music, but would we really want to work with our favorite celebrities? Today on Top 10 Beyond the Screen, we will discuss the stars no one wants to work with. Tell me in the comments who your celebrity crush is before we get into it. I'm interested to know. Mine is Zac Efron and Miley Cyrus, if you know me at all. But on that note, I'm your host for this one, Joss Bedard. Make sure you subscribe, leave a like, chat in the comments, and let's get into it. Starting us off at number 10, we have Mariah Carey. The singer is notorious for taking her title as pop diva quite literally. From rumors about her bizarre dressing room requests to feuds with co-stars, Mariah has earned herself quite a reputation. When filming a cameo for the 2017 comedy The House, she arrived to set four hours late with a list of demands for her trailer. Her co-stars called the experience bananas which is never a good thing. It's no wonder that her cameo didn't make it into the final cut of the movie. And let's not forget about her feud with fellow American Idol judge Nicki Minaj back in 2012. The two stars were rumored to be at odds from the moment they were both hired on the show. It was during the audition rounds of American Idol that it became clear their feud was more than just rumors. During an argument with Mariah, Nicki said she wasn't going to put up with Mariah anymore and sarcastically called her her highness. Up next, number nine, we have Lindsay Lohan. It has been quite a while since we've seen Lindsay lighting up the big screen. Why? One reason could be that she is a huge pain to work with, apparently. Lindsay's lack of professionalism once led to the CEO of Morgan Street Productions threatening to sue Lohan over her behavior on the set of the 2007 film Georgia Rule. In the letter, Lindsay was called out for her many absences from set and constant partying during production. Even Jane Fonda, her co star in the movie, had had enough with Lindsay and yelled at the actress for being late on set one day. I would not want Jane Fonda to yell at me. Like that just scared me and it's not even me. Apparently Lindsay didn't learn from the experience though. In 2010, when she filmed a guest appearance for Glee, Lindsay was apparently late and unprepared when she arrived on set. I had no idea Lindsay was in Glee. Coming in at number eight is Emma Roberts. Just because you are related to Hollywood royalty, Emma's aunt is Julia Roberts after all. That doesn't mean it's okay to act like a total princess. But I guess no one told Emma Roberts that. It is rumored that the actress was very difficult to work with on the set of American horror story Coven, and even got called out by co-star Gabrae Sidibe. Apparently, Roberts was rude to others on the show and wouldn't talk to crew members. While filming another Ryan Murphy show, Scream Queens, Emma was confronted yet again by a co-star. Allegedly, Jamie Lee Curtis was not a fan of Roberts' diva antics on set and let the actress know. It must have done the trick that time because her behavior was reportedly improved after the chat with Jamie Lee. I also would not want Jamie Lee Curtis yelling at me. I love her. Her. After Freaky Friday, I always wish she was my mom. Fun fact, in case you wanted to know. And for number seven, we have Leah Michelle. While she may have played a diva on TV, Leah Michelle's off screen behavior could give her Glee character, Rachel Berry, a run for her money. Michelle was called out on Twitter by former co star Samantha Ware for making her time on Glee a living hell. And after Ware opened the floodgates, the shade from former castmates kept on coming in. Amber Riley responded to Ware's tweets by posting a GIF of herself sipping some tea. Heather Morris tweeted, was she unpleasant to work with? Very much so. Melissa Benoist and Michelle Scream Queens co-star Abigail Breslin didn't make comments themselves, but were caught liking tweets about Michelle following this incident. That's the silent way of getting involved. They're like, I agree with you, but I'm not going to say anything about it because they don't want to get too involved. I do that all the time. At number six is Katherine Heigl. When Heigl left Grey's Anatomy in 2010, she said it was so she could focus on her family. However, it's speculated that her departure may be due to tension between her and the show's creator, Shonda Rhimes. A few years after Heigl left Grey's, Rhimes, while speaking about her show Scandal, said, there are no Heigls in this situation. I don't put up with that bullshit or nasty people. I don't have time for that. This isn't the first time Katherine Heigl has been on the receiving end of these kinds of comments. After calling her 2007 film Knocked Up a little sexist, the actress was seen as difficult to work with, a label her career is only now recovering from. If that, because where is she? I actually don't know. 
I haven't seen her anything in so long. At our halfway point, number five, we have Ellen. For years, the talk show host was beloved by audiences for being nice. That is until 2020 when former employees of the Ellen DeGeneres show spoke out about what it's like to work for Ellen and they did not have very nice things to say. According to former staff members, Ellen's on camera kindness was all for show and that they weren't allowed to speak to her when they actually saw her. Ironically, Mariah Carey has also spoken about her negative experience with DeGeneres. According to Carey, Ellen made her feel extremely uncomfortable when she grilled the pop star about whether or not she was pregnant during an interview on the Ellen DeGeneres show. Other celebrities like Everybody Hates Raymond star Brad Garrett have given their own negative accounts of Ellen. Garrett claims to know multiple people treated horribly by the talk show host. Jumping on down to number four is Julia Roberts. It looks like diva behavior runs in the family because much like her famous niece Emma, Julia Roberts is no picnic to work with. And picnics are a good time. While playing Tinkerbell in the 1991 film Hook, the actress was apparently given the nickname Tinkerhell by crew members. While her director on the film, Steven Spielberg, defends her behavior, that hasn't stopped her difficult reputation from following her in the years since. In 1994, on the set of I Love Trouble, it was confirmed by both Roberts and co-star Nick Nolte that the two did not get along. Nolte went as far as to say that she is not a nice person. It is rumored that even an acting legend like Meryl Streep can't convince anyone that she likes Julia Roberts. The two August Osage County stars were apparently so at odds over screen time that Meryl won't work with Julia ever again. That is like an actor's nightmare. Imagine Meryl Streep not wanting to work with you. Just I would just give up at that point. Heading into our number three spot is Kanye West. It is no secret that Kanye West has had some pretty eccentric behaviors, so it shouldn't come as a surprise that he is less than ideal to work with. Apparently West tortures the people at his label Def Jams, and that he is one of the most difficult artists to deal with in the business. Honestly, I could have told you that though. I feel like everyone knows that. While collaborating with Kanye can be tough, it sounds like working for Kanye is no walk in the park either. A former bodyguard of Wes had shared some of his diva antics. According to him, he was only to wear black around Wes, touching Kanye would get you fired, and bodyguards were not allowed to speak when Kanye was walking by. Kanye's rules also included his then wife, Kim Kardashian. The bodyguard claims he was fired two weeks in when Kanye caught him bumping into Kim in the hallway. Wow. Their marriage sounded like a great time. That's sad because they are divorced now. All the way in the number two spot, we have Kanye's now ex sister in law, Courtney Kardashian. Courtney is known on the show for her hilarious deadpan comments, which are often at her siblings' expenses. She's my idol. I honestly love her sass. I live for it. Though she's often joking, sometimes she can take it too far. Not even Courtney's own mother could deny that the reality star was hard to work with. Kris Jenner told Andy Cohen at the Keeping Up with the Kardashians reunion that her her eldest daughter was the hardest one to manage. Courtney herself couldn't argue with her momager. I don't want to do things if it's not something I'm really into doing. My answer is no for most things, and if it's gonna be yes, I want to know every detail of what I'm gonna be asked for. Kim Kardashian has also called out her sister for rude behavior. In one incident, Kim says that Courtney was so mean to one of her nannies that she brought her to tears. According to Kim, Courtney can't even keep a nanny. I wonder why. And finally, in our number one spot, we have Justin Bieber. Becoming a pop star at such a young age could get to anyone's head, and Justin is no exception. Former SNL cast member Bill Hader said that he really didn't enjoy having Justin Bieber around. Hader says that when Justin hosted the show, he brought around an entourage of 20 people. Apparently, the Biebs had his staff hand feeding him pizza and Diet Coke. Where's that kind of treatment for me, Chris? <laughs> I can't eat pizza, it's fine. Fellow SNL star Kate McKinnon says that Bieber wasn't pleased by her hilarious impressions of the pop star. His diva behavior isn't exclusive to SNL though. Justin has also developed a reputation for throwing tantrums on stage, leaving concerts early, and showing up late to his own shows. Once he even scolded a fan for throwing her hat on stage before later storming off stage because of the audience's screaming. Isn't that the point of your concert? Wouldn't you prefer them to scream than to not scream. I feel like that would be so awkward. All right, guys, that is our list for today. If you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments, leave a like, and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss another one. I was your host for this one, Jasper Dard. I will see you next time. Bye.